My name is Jen Smith. I'm 24 and I'm a professional surfer. Uh, I've been surfing since I was a child. My dad's a surfer, my uncle's a surfer, my cousin's a surfer. I'm just so fortunate to take what I've been given and what, you know, my dad's passion and turned it into my lifestyle and something that I just love and embrace. Rock is one of my sponsors and they're one of the only companies who really supports longboarding. So, you know, longboarding is more like this retro throwback to the way that, you know, people started surfing and the way that they sort of started to fine tune their equipment in the 60s that are all riding boards that were at least nine feet long. And, um, to do that these days, it's kind of a, an old school thing, but it's, it's still modern and, you know, you're still learning new things and still progressing with it. Today was a good day. It was a long one. Uh, we woke up, the boys picked me up in the Fiesta, loaded it up with some surfboards, skateboards, wetsuits. Um, we headed up to Oceanside to check out the Women on the Waves surfing exhibit at the, um, at the Surf Museum. Um, so I did a walk through there, checked out the new exhibit. Right now the whole museum is all decked out with women's, the history of women's surfing. So it's from the 1800s up till today. board that Bethany Hamilton lost her arm while riding. She like the mouth of the tiger shark that made her so heavy. Oh yeah, Linda Benson, the true godmother of women surfing. She was like, she, what did she serve? She served Waimea in the 50s, Linda Benson. She's like four foot seven. And she's just a ripping it soul lady, I know. So I'm her own board from back in the day. I don't feel like I can that thing out. After the museum, we headed over to uh, my Shaper's retail store, Don Takiyama. He's got this awesome longboard shop in Oceanside. Woods and Hayden, my friend Noah, who works in there. Looked at some boards, took a little walk through um, of the shaping room, which is awesome because Donald doesn't, well, I guess he shapes a lot, but you know, to be able to go in and kind of check out Donald's shaping room is always cool. He had a, a finished surfboard there, we were checking it out. It's going to be a big, a big stand up paddle for someone. In between the surf shop and the, and the beach, we uh, went to Cream of the Crop in Oceanside and just got a little smoothie and a little bite to eat before we went surfing. Banana and bee pollen smoothie. It's always my favorite when I'm in Oceanside. After the surf shot, we went down to Swami's and checked out the waves. And it was pretty small, and overall, the weather today wasn't was an ideal San Diego weather, but yeah, the waves were small, a little bit windy, but we paddled out anyways, and it actually ended up being way more fun than I thought it was gonna be. Just really, you know, small, peeling waves, which was cool. This So I jumped out at Swami's, got a couple of vlogs, and then we took it down to Sector 9. We drove out to uh, out to the bowl. It's called the Bread Bowl because every day, like on the hour, it just smells like freshly baked bread. They're right next door to a bread factory. I just kind of carved around the bowl. It's a great little crossover from from surfing. You know, like similar similar balance, similar muscles, and it just. You know, it's good fun. It's always a challenge for me to, to get um, into the bowl because surfing is like, you know, second nature. And skateboarding is something that's such, so far beyond me and it's such a challenge that it's always fun. To
skateboarding's great, especially like today when the waves weren't that great. Like, you know, you paddle out, get a few waves, you're, you don't have, you know, so much fun when the waves are one foot and kind of choppy. So to have something like skateboarding to go to when the waves are coming, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, I woke up from my cat nap and came down to, uh, down to Zach's house and we did a little screen printing session, which was rad. I've never, uh, I've never used a screen print before. But the design they made for, for the Roxy project with Fiesta, and, um, it turned out really good. It's, it's really special, kind of like really, kind of Mexican theme. It's got a little Baja scene going on. Totally embodies, uh, actually the last week of my life right here. The single fan, cobblestones, the Mexican mariachi man, got the, the uh, beach fire there, cactus, the desert flowers. Um, yeah, it's sick. So it was fun to kind of, after the full day of like business, surf, skate, all the normal stuff, it was cool to come in and do a little screen print, just kind of expand my horizons a little further, which is rad. Yeah, it's been a great day.